Here on Take 5, we're exploring fascinating places and uncovering the stories that have helped shape our future down here in the RGV. Today, we find ourselves at Palo Alto Battlefield National Historical Park, the site of the first major battle of the U.S.-Mexican War, and it's right here in the city of Brownsville. Here, visitors can take a step back in time and experience the landscape almost as it existed on the day of the battle. The Battle of Palo Alto and the U.S.-Mexican War may have faded from public attention today, but they remain an integral part of the history of both nations. Our journey at Palo Alto starts with the Chief of Interpretation, Daniel Ibarra. He's the one who made the history come alive for us throughout our visit. People can go out and stand, actually stand on the U.S. and Mexican battle, battle lines. So, there they are standing in the footsteps of where soldiers stood back in 1846. And here, right on the ground where history unfolded, we found replicas of the cannons used by both the U.S. and Mexican armies. It's a vivid reminder of the firepower that once echoed through these fields. In this particular battle, uh, field artillery played a, a pivotal role uh, in determining the outcome uh, of the battle. Uh, you have a Mexican army that outnumbers uh, Zachary Taylor's army by about a thousand troops. So they have a significant advantage uh, when it comes to the numbers of, of, of soldiers, but their technology, uh, especially their, their field artillery, was not up to par with what the U.S. Army had available to them. But what really struck me were the flags, standing tall, marking the spots where these armies once stood. The flags serve as a reminder of the shared history between these nations, with each flag telling its own tale. When you're standing on the U.S. Uh, battle line or the Mexican battle line, and you look across the field to that opposing line, it's relatively close. Uh, you're talking anywhere between six to 700 yards. I mean, we're talking about soldiers being close enough to wave at each other. It's mind boggling to imagine the tension and anticipation that must have filled the air back then. This is not, you know, the detached warfare of today uh, where a lot of it happens on, on a monitor, computer monitor. Uh, you're looking exactly at the person that you're about to uh, engage with. And so to be able to stand there, it's like, okay, you know, this. This is a lot different than what we're normally used to. Now I have to share a rather amusing experience I had here. As a part of their living history program, I got the chance to step into the shoes, or should I say coat, of history. Yeah, I got to suit up in a soldier uniform. Now, don't worry guys, I'm fully aware that donning a soldier's uniform doesn't magically turn me into a battle-hardened warrior. It was all in good fun, part of an event where people from all walks of life get to immerse themselves in the past. So at the park, um, going back to 2006, I believe we started our Live in History program. And so uh, we're talking about people that are in, in full gear. Some civilian impressions from time to time. Uh, and we do everything from weapons demonstrations to camp life. Uh, depending on the size of the group, sometimes we'll get the camp kitchen going. So if you're looking to enjoy a unique learning experience, you can get all the information on tours and upcoming events on the Palo Alto Battlefield National Historical Park website. And to all of you watching, remember, history isn't confined to textbooks. It's right here in the fields, in the cannons, and in the flags. So until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep discovering the incredible stories that shape the Rio Grande Valley. Some of us are on our fitness journey and we found a gym that's more like a party. Our Villa St. Olivares is there to explain. <laughs> The new year has arrived and we know you're looking for a way to keep those resolutions intact. Alexander and Nidia Ampadu have your answer at their one-stop heart-pumping experience, Cardio Blazed Fitness Studio in Brownsville. Cardio Blazed is a studio that specifically lies in cardio-based aerobic heat training system. Basically, uh, we started Cardio Blazed during the pandemic when people was not being sick left and right. One of the focus on what you know people really needed, and now the cardiovascular system. And there are lots. Well. 
Unlike any other studio the Valley has seen, Cardio Blaze is meant to make you feel like you're having the time of your life while getting the workout of your life. We are based on the rhythm of music. The rhythm of music is like the major thing here because we need to make sure that we feel the energy, we feel the vibe. Uh, a lot of people, they love to come in here because they feel like they're in a nightclub, you know, but at the same time, they're enjoying um, and being able to get a good workout coming in. Alexander took his 27-year experience as a personal trainer to combine the most effective cardio-based moves of his workouts and put them into a 45-minute group class that has you running. One, chest up, relax. Just stay in the center right there. There you go, beautiful. Punching. Three, four, four, five, come on, six. <laughs> and more. Everybody hates to do cardio. I hate to do cardio, but if it's fun, and we're jumping around and listening to Paso Pluma and kicking, hitting the bags and you know having fun about yeah. it. It seems that it's not doing cardio no more. It's like you're having fun. That's and that's the whole idea, that's the whole goal to make sure that cardio is fun so that we can come back and do it. Most importantly, the Ampadus want you to know that Cardio Blaze is catered to and made for everyone from beginners to experts. All equipment down to the custom boxing gloves and infrared lights in the studio are meant to help you reach your fullest potential while ensuring your safest experience. But we do it because we want to make sure that they, or they love who they see in the mirror, that they are falling in love with themselves, you know, in the process, because it is a process. It's not going to be overnight. So don't miss your chance to punch your way into the new year. Five, come on, six. <laughs> as your best and healthiest self. For more information on Cardio Blaze, you can visit their website at www.cardioblaze.com or you can visit their Facebook and Instagram page. For Take 5, Three, I'm Millicent Olivares. Two, one! Stop. Oh my <laughs> awesome gosh. Awesome job, awesome job. You did amazing, girl. Thank you. You did amazing, I love you did this amazing. <laughs>
at Lamar Academy on 10th Street in McAllen. All right, well, congratulations. This is amazing. I hope you guys raised a lot of things. I'm gonna go ahead and donate to as well. <laughs> thank you. And thank you, Emma, for empowering the RGV and helping these people. Yes, of course. If you wanna to donate to Handbags for Hope, you can drop off items at Lamar Academy in McAllen, or you can contact Erica, Emma's mom, <laughs> at 956-867-5065. Vegan cinnamon rolls, yes, you heard that right. Take Vice Trista Castillo has all the details coming up in just two minutes. What if I told you there's a cinnamon roll that's vegan, dairy, and cholesterol free, and you don't have to travel very far to taste this delicious dessert? Here's Cineholic. Take Fivers, today we embark on a sweet journey at Cineholic in Edinburgh, where they take the classic cinnamon roll and add their own unique twist. Once we walked in, the aroma of yummy cinnamon rolls were absolutely irresistible. We spoke with owners Jessica and Shane Peterson, who say not only are these cinnamon rolls delicious, they are made with 100% vegan ingredients. We are 100% vegan, so uh, it's dairy-free, lactose-free, egg-free, and cholesterol-free. So on top of that, all of our stuff is made from scratch in the morning, so it's made daily. So there's nothing that's kept frozen or anything like that. So we gotta mix all of the dough, we gotta knead it, we gotta cut it, roll it, and then we gotta bake it. So we kinda take these rolls, uh, we bake them, you know, consistently throughout the day so they stay fresh, warm, and, and fluffy because we want our, all of our customers to have that experience of having a nice, warm cinnamon roll. Cineholic offers an array of frostings, toppings from regular cinnamon rolls to even baby cinnamon rolls and cinnamon roll cakes. Can you believe that? And everything is customizable and of course, plant-based. All of our customers have the option of coming in and selecting your roll, customizing your roll, you can select a frosting. We have 20 different frostings, and then we have 20 different toppings that you can select from. And so you're able to customize your own cinnamon roll and also other items on the menu like cookies and brownies and brookies as well. With that being said, I got in the kitchen, rolled up my sleeves and started making their signature Java chip cinnamon roll. It had coffee infused frosting, which smelled absolutely delicious. Once I put the frosting on, I already wanted to take a bite, but it was on to topping it where I added some cookies and chocolate chips. I also got to make two local favorites called the Sinachuro and the Mostachon. All right guys, it's time for my favorite part, the taste test. Now I'm gonna dig my fork into this one. I know each and every one of these cinnamon rolls are gonna be amazing. So good. It took everything in me not to eat all of these cinnamon rolls in one sitting, so <laughs> I'll let you guys come over here to Cineholic and try it out for yourself. I welcome anybody to come in and, and just try us out and give us a chance. Even though we are vegan, I, I guarantee you will not be able to tell the difference, but you know, with, there's so many different products that you can choose from. So you can start small and then just build up from there. But for sure, I think everybody needs to come out and give us a try. For Take 5, I'm Trista Castillo. This marathon has been going on for 10 years and it's your time to sign up all the details about the McAllen Marathon when Take 5 returns. The following segment is supported by the City of McAllen. Whether you're a seasonal beginner or an experienced runner, this race is perfect for all. I'm talking about the McAllen Marathon Scott Crane Run, which is coming up. And here to give us all the details is Karina Jimenez with the City of McAllen. Thank you so much for joining us, Thank Karina. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Yes, and so I'm really excited because I'm actually taking part in this run. And I've got to say, you came in here with some impressive <laughs> I did. hardware. Tell us a little bit about these here. So these medals is something that our team at the Parks and Recreation Department is super proud of. We um, design our own medals every year for the McAllen Marathon. And I have to say, I think we've outdone ourselves every year. Uh, this, this one, our theme this year is really representing the coordinates of the start finish line. And so you'll see that spinning around on each of the medals, regardless if you run the 5K, 10K, or the full half relay, just really representing the city and you know everyone who comes 
to visit us year round. Um, and so we're really excited about this design and we're happy and uh, looking forward to sharing them with everyone next Saturday, January 20th. Of course, and you know, along with these medals, along with the name, there's a lot of history. This is the 11th year that this run takes place. So what can people expect? This is the 11th year of this amazing race. Uh, we are wanting to make sure, like always, that we continue to offer someone some a race for everyone because we have of course our marathon runners and you know our 5k runners like our yourself beginners yes yes so uh we have 5k 10k full half and relay races available our full uh relay marathon is a six person team so uh you know you get to run with your friends and not a huge uh super long distance but we're excited to be able to offer those races and of course continue our partnership with McAllen ISD for the kids' final mile. Wow. So these kids kick off uh, their marathon at the beginning of the school year. They run all of their miles except their last one and they run it through the same start finish line of, that the adults do. So that's an experience Aww. in itself. That's great. Uh, and so, you know, we, we love to um, have this offering every year in January and we invite everyone to join us. Wow. And yeah. Right now, you are actually offering a special offer for all of our Take 5 viewers. Yeah. Maybe somebody out there that wants to participate, get their New Year's resolution started. So tell us a little bit about that. Well, I couldn't come without a gift, of right? Of course. It, Christmas is gone, but it's still, I feel like we're all still in the holiday spirit. Definitely. So we want to offer all of those watching us a discount to participate in the McAllen Marathon coming up next Saturday. Uh, you will receive $20 off a full half or relay registration okay. or $5 off a 5K or 10K registration just by going to our website at mcallenmarathon.com and typing in the code TAKE5. Wow, so there's really no excuse now. You gotta <laughs> use that discount code. Karina, we wanna thank you so much for bringing that for us and thank you so much for joining us today. Guys, make sure you use that code you have until 5 p.m. on Monday, that is tomorrow. So get out there and we will see you on January 20th at the McAllen Marathon. We're back with another Made in the 956 Extra and I am here with Channel 5 News anchor, Trey Sedna. So Trey, what is our Made in the 956 Extra this week? Yes, so Carla, what's in a name for a business? You know that it can be everything like this place right here. Check this out. This is KK's Closet in Harlingen. Now it's a women's boutique store that's run by a mom and daughter and the name is what some could call the Valley's very own Kardashian like empire. Take a listen. So our name came from uh, it's my name's Kelly obviously and it's all K's. All my daughters are it's Kimberly, Kylie and Carly. So we just did two K's. KK. And then I have a granddaughter named Chloe. Yes. Yeah so it's a bunch of K's in our family. And so. she was actually going to name me Kendall when I was going to be born yes before the Kardashians me. were even popular so i don't know it was <laughs> so weird. we're the original kk no we're not <laughs> well, you're building your little empire here the there you go so, right yes we really are we're trying our best well that's kelly and carla cabrera just two of the k's from the family and another fun fact about the store is get this when most stores were closing during the pandemic KK's actually grew. So they went from a small space in one shopping center to this much bigger location now. And with 2024 now here, the family tells me they're ready for more business this year. Trey, I love that yeah. so much. You know what? It's all in the K name. All in the K names. I know our very own here in the Valley. I know. And you know what? Our viewers out there watching that also have K names, we got to go out and support, you know. Yes. Trey, I guess you can come too. You know, you're you're a little crazy. An, honor, an honorary, <laughs> an honorary K, right? Yeah, an honorary K. <laughs> And Trey, where can people go to for some more information? Yeah, so Carla, the store is located at 918 North 77 Sunshine Strip in Harlingen. You can also find them on Facebook at KK's Closet. And it's just a fun store. The vibe of the store is really cool. They have these social happy hours sometimes to invite people to come out and have a few drinks and shop. And you can check out everything online on Facebook and a lot of good stuff there. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Trey. Hey, thank you for having me. This mother-daughter duo is providing the RGV with Vietnamese cuisine. All the details coming up when Take 5 returns. This mother-daughter duo is serving up authentic Vietnamese cuisine in South Texas. From authentic boba tea to Korean corn dogs, take a look at Tea Garden. Tea Garden in McAllen is mainly a Vietnamese restaurant with a twist. Owner Stephanie Huynh tells us they're serving up Korean food, Taiwanese boba, Vietnamese pho, and so much more. All in all, it's a little taste of a lot of different foods and not to mention they're completely authentic. A lot of the things that we use are actually served and made with imported goods straight from Vietnam. 
because honestly, although I could use American ingredients, it just doesn't taste the same. And so things like our butter, our flour, like I get straight over, we bring it over and we make it as fresh as possible. Things like our broth, I mean, it takes anywhere from like 28 to almost 48 hours. So we just put a lot of time and devotion. Now pho is a staple in Vietnamese cuisine. It's said pho is one of the best comfort foods of all time and there's nothing a good bowl of pho can't fix. Our pho, our noodle dishes are what we're really known for and I'm really glad too because I feel like noodles and soup is the heart of like most meals. It's like if you're sick, hearty bowl of noodles. If you're in college and you're broke, a bowl of noodles. If you're like a working parent with no time, so it's a bowl of noodles. And so our pho that we're the most known for is one of the most like love, labor, intensive items that we actually serve. The processing time from start to finish, it takes about three full days to get like a nice bowl of broth and just cooking the broth itself takes about 28 hours. Like I mentioned earlier, yes, this is a Vietnamese restaurant, but you can find really cool foods like the Korean corn dog here too. Korean corn dogs look really similar to, let's say, an American style corn dog, but the taste and kind of the quality of ingredients used is very, very different. So we serve our cream cheese corn dogs automatically. It's a half cheese, half sausage. What's really popular is just getting that really nice cheese pool. And like on the staff team, actually, as a boss, I shouldn't be saying this, but I've, I've had them or I've let them like see how long they can stretch it. And it's actually, I think the, the record's three meters. And so we really packed that full of cheese just so everyone can have that really nice stretch. I instantly knew I had to try my shot at a Korean corn dog cheese pool. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm. Now on to a bit of a dessert in a drink. It's hot. We keep it warm because that's the way it's served best. Stephanie tells us if there's one thing at Tea Garden that you absolutely have to try, it's their brown sugar latte with boba. Ooh, there it goes. So in the end, my stomach was full and my heart was very happy. Oh my God. And I vowed to return to Tea Garden to try my best at beating that cheese pole record. We are on Nolana and we're on Jackson, 119 West Nolana, right in front of the Hollywood Movie Theater, and on 1100 South Jackson Road, right in front of the Sam's Club. Perfect. Cheers. Oh. Cheers. Thank you so much for spending your weekend with us. Make sure to check out all these cool places, and if you do, tag us in your pictures. We'd love to see them. We'll be back next weekend with some more fun. Have a great week, guys.